We found out in, in the late 1800s, early 1900s, that the ground actually is alive. Microbes consume organic material. We gotta roll. And away we go. And when they do that, they release CO2 gas. A lot of farmers, we found out, really don't dive too deep into their soil sampling. You take a Midwest farmer that's farming a thousand acres of corn, they're gonna save around $47,000 on nitrogen if they were seeing the same results on that test. We are spread out over seven counties, so we get a lot of variability in soils and and that was something we really looked at when we started testing the product, you know, is it necessarily gonna give us more in one spot than the other? But um, there's nowhere I wouldn't use it. It's going on every acre for us because we're seeing the results and we're raising good corn. I always say, you know, a farmer's always crying or complaining about something. I don't know if crying or complaining is the right word. We're always hoping for better. As soon as you get off the combine, Boom, you're game planning for this moment right now. Sometimes you don't always see what you want to see, but if you pay attention, you'll learn something. So we got 111 day corn that will be short corn, so that's going to be fun to follow. When you, uh, you have a day like that, you begin to question yourself. We're trying to be as efficient as possible. Can I improve on what I did the year before? You know, there's only so much money to go around, so I look for big wins. We're finding lot 18 arounds by anywhere from 38 to 42 long, so that's going to produce some pre pretty good yield. Definitely got Maverick doing a great job out here. He's been the top gun training school. That's why he's playing silver now. All makes sense.